Alrighty, good afternoon everybody. Happy spring to you. We uh, finally got a nice day up here in Cheeselandia and I wanted to do a couple of little videos for you. We got in a new saddle from JC Martin uh, about a month or so ago and this is the first chance I've had to, to test it out. It's got all the new uh, improvements on it that we've been suggesting from the saddles we rode last year. Uh, they made a little bit smaller ring on the on the rear scent side, deepened the seat a little bit, uh, made a couple other cosmetic changes to it and overall and this is the first rough out seat that I've had too so I'm really looking forward to putting some time on this one and and uh, see how it rides. So that's what we're going to do first is get PAG here saddled up and see how it fits them. It should fit pretty much like the other saddles do that I've ridden from JC Martin, but we're going to get him saddled up and uh, do some work with him. And then uh, the second part of this video that we're going to do today is just kind of a, a helping video for you guys. It seems like every winter I uh, put out my messages to do spring tune-up clinics with folks and and offer to come out and help get your horse tuned up and set back on on the uh, path of righteousness so to say after sitting around all winter and every year it's real slow until about this time of year when we start getting warm weather and then I get calls from everybody and his brother needing some help with their horse because they pulled them out and just saddled them up and expected the same thing that they had when they put them away in the fall and they go out and, and uh, go into a strange area or or the horse hasn't been rode in quite some time and they get themselves in trouble and get bucked off or the horse is acting up and needs needs some help and so on and so forth and really you know I've harped on it for a lot of years that these horses are just not like Ferraris where you can put them in the garage and come back and start the key next spring and hope to have the same horse. They've got a lot of built up energy over standing around all winter long. They've eaten good. They've built up that energy through the food that they've had. They've built up energy from just standing around and now it's getting warm and they want to expend that energy and they're feeling good and, and folks just expect them to be the same that they were. And, that's, and they're not going to be, none of them. You know, I've got horses that I can sit, leave sit for six months and come out, and chances are 99% of the time they're going to be good. But I still do my groundwork, do my round pen work, get them shaped up, and, uh, you know, make sure that they're in the right frame of mind to, to go out there and do the job and do it safely. So that's what we're going to show in the second part of this video today. My buddy Pag here. He's my cavalry horse, and he has not been rode since last fall at the last reenactment that I did. And other than that, he stood around and ate good all spring and all winter, and he's feeling pretty good. And, and, he's, and I use him for this particular demonstration, not because he's a bad horse. He's one of my best horses, but if he, if he sits around for a period of time, 99% of the time, when I saddle him up and turn him around to do some groundwork or turn him loose and do some round pen work, he's going to hump around, which a lot, a lot of horses do. And he generally never disappoints me when he does it because he's just got that in him to where he's got to frog around and get used to everything again. And then he settles out and we can go for riding and everything's fine. So that's why I'm going to use him today. Now, another thing that that goes along with this is folks have their horses in a, in a boarding stable or at their farm or whatever with a bunch of other horses and they get used to uh, being around each other and, and cozying up and then you take them out to a different environment without their buddies around. A lot of them will start wondering where their buddies went to and get a little herd bound or get a little upset about it. And, and uh, that's something else you have to take into account and reestablish that herd environment between you and your horse and get him to start looking at you for that support rather than all of his buddies. And Pag is not really super, oh thanks bud, Pank's tank, oh, tank, Pag is not really super herd bound, but early in the spring and at times when he feels insecure, he gets a little bit 
herd bound or a little bit insecure. And today, so far he's not done so much. He's kind of looking over there to where his buddies are and, and kind of wondering, but he hasn't really started getting all that upset about things yet. So, yeah, he wants the grass probably more than anything because he hasn't had any yet. So we're gonna get him saddled up here. Now, this saddle, this is, these J.C. Martins, these J.C. Martin saddles are one of the few wade saddles that I found that'll really fit PAG with only using a one inch saddle pad because I got a good high, gill, a high gullet and the design of the seat or the design of the, the bars is really good to fit his back even though it's real narrow. Most of my other saddles I have to use a three inch or a inch and an eighth pad on him to keep it up off his withers. Unless I went to a, a really specialized saddle for narrow withered horses. And you can see he's a little bit antsy about things. Normally he stands pretty good about getting saddled up. But he's a little bit antsy, wants to know what's going on, wants to get some grass. And all we're really gonna do here is just snug him down and let him stand here for a minute while I get suited up to ride. And then we'll be right back to see what he's gonna do. All right. Anyway, as far as the, the fit on this saddle, this one fits just as well as the other saddles do, and you can see it's got a, a, a nicer, deeper seat in it than the other saddles that we rode last, last summer for Rick. And I'm looking forward to getting on that and trying it out. So we're gonna let set Pag sit here for a minute with that saddle on and see what he does. I'm gonna get my vest on and my shaps and we'll come back for round two. <laughs> 